All right, so I know you're anxious to see Chengdu, so let's get into it. I really want to see Chengdu, Chengdu, oh yeah. Okay, so we're in uh, Chengdu. So this is gonna be my first Chengdu video, and I'm on the waterfront. And it looks like they got some stuff set up here. I think this is gonna be um, some kind of, uh, I don't know, I think there's music, but also there's chairs getting set up here too. So I, I don't know what to expect. But we'll see that later as well. And I'm just gonna walk up and down the waterfront a little bit and try to give a little context of where we are, what Chengdu looks like. And just for reference points, it's a Friday night. And this is the riverfront and I think this area is also kind of a popular bar district area so we're gonna see what that looks like as well and I'll probably do some different videos showing you what it looks like at different times okay so you're here to see about Chengdu China okay well you're in luck this is number one so you're here at the very first one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have 14 different Chengdu videos and they're all gonna be about a different part of Chengdu and it's just my experiences with my camera. So this is going to be um, along this riverfront. I'll show you the map right here. And you can also see different scenes behind me of what you're gonna see upcoming, including the marketplace, the river, kind of this little structure that overlooks the river as well. So you're gonna get an idea of a little bit of um, a taste of Chengdu, just as if you were there. Chengdu, I really wanna see Chengdu. Make sure that you subscribe every five days I'll put up another Chengdu one and I'll put the links down below so at the end we'll have 14 links okay so I guess the first thing we're gonna do is kind of meander and just see what this riverfront looks like and I think later there's gonna be a lot of bars set up I walked by here to get to my hotel a little earlier check out all the apartments right there too and I didn't see, everything was kind of closed, but you can see it's gradually starting to um, appear. So what I'm gonna do is to show you what is here. At this time, it's on a Friday night, it's about 7 p.m., 7.30. The lights are just coming on. So yeah, this um, kind of interesting. So I'm gonna narrate, this is the first Chengdu, I'm gonna do lots more in Chengdu. I'll be here for, but we'll see how many days, I'm not sure. Definitely two nights, no matter what. And then probably extend it. Oh, okay, look at this. And I'll be doing lots of different stuff in Chengdu. It's kind of amazing that there's apartments right here as well. And then this looks like it goes down into a shopping area. And what I might be doing is um, going over to the bridge on the other side. Let's see what this is. I was tempted to go up this way, but we'll just go down. So usually when I do my videos, I usually do about about 10 minutes, 10 to, 15, 10 to 12 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Anything more than that, I think it might be a little bit too long. Hello. Uh, maybe later. Thank you. Thank you. I just ate, so I would... I'm going to come by here a few other times as well. Okay. So it looks like you got little riverboat cruise stuff. Looks like there's other bars on the other side. And I don't know how far down it's gonna go. I probably should have been over that thing right there. But then you got all these amazing apartments with these beautiful windows too. I wonder how much those cost. Yeah, so far, this is a um, weekend, so And Chengdu is uh, about 11 million people, and it's a panda tourism. So you see lots of panda references everywhere. And I'm gonna walk 
over to the other side and then come back over that bridge. Let me see here. I think they're doing a riverboat cruise. So we're gonna walk a little pavilion right in here. So, uh, so today, so Chengdu is about 11 million people. Um, it's known as one of the furnaces, a city with a hot, humid climate in the summertime. I did feel it a little bit earlier today. But actually right now it feels very cool. And let me kind of move around a little bit. So we're gonna see what this area looks like. Um, earlier it was uh, hot and it seems like I'm seeing this theme of a lot of older people and a lot of children. But I think that this area has a lot of bars too. So I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Still kind of figuring out the city a little bit. A lot of cool artwork though. So we're gonna follow this along and go over the bridge and go over to that side. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of older people. I was, I was just in Wuhan and I'm also uploading some videos there. And Wuhan just had a lot of young people vibe. So I was expecting this, um, this is called Bar Street that we're at. And there are definitely bars around. Here's another one right in here. So there's definitely some nightlife to be had in this area, but um, anyways, I'm going to come up over on the bridge on the other side, I think. So stay tuned and I'll turn the camera on up there somewhere. Okay, so we're still on our walking street, but I just came over to this part. This is kind of a bike lane, but there's also these kind of cool looking murals. So I thought I'd capture that. Looks like people have been drinking and having eating and having good time. This is like a son and father kind of thing there. Okay. So we're going to be over there shortly again. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of it's interesting. There's all these kind of music references, there's music notes. So it kind of feels like there's going to be like a party scene or something. Oh, Music Square Pier. Okay, that's why it's called Music Square. So we're actually in Music Square. So that's why there's all the music references. Okay, so we are in Music Square Pier. Here's another bar, camping bar. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because so far it seems like people are... I don't really see young people. Okay, so we're gonna go around towards this way. See what we can see over here. Get a feel for Chengdu by going along the river. Selling watermelon. So we started up over there. Over here we got some fishermen. Okay, so fishing. Huh. Okay, so we're gonna. A lot of motorcycles take the um, pedestrian paths. I've noticed. Huh, a lot of fishermen here. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go around the corner. Part of Chengdu. Let 
I'm gonna go straight down this path as well. And we're gonna walk. Now you can kind of see what this looks like from this side as well. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn the camera around and we get up there a little bit further. Okay, so we're a little bit further down. So we started over there, that big pavilion and those lights that are on over there. Actually, we started more down there by that temple that overlooks the water. But I was kind of looking at these tall buildings and just all this nice waterfront property they got. Riverfront property. So we're going to walk. We're going to continue on. That's part of the Chengdu city. I'm still kind of getting a feel for the city. There's a nice beautiful park right over there. I, I heard that there's a lot of parks in Chengdu and it does seem to be the case. It's like a good city just to sit outside and relax. Except for the fast speeding yeah. motorcycles honking their horns everywhere. <laughs> so. Okay, so we're gonna um, continue on. Kind of in a bicycle lane right now, sort of. Okay, so I'm gonna walk back by the waterfront. Looks like they're getting ready for some dancing over here. And there's a nice pavilion straight ahead too. So I'm kind of tempted to go up there, but I kind of want to keep moving though, more than anything. Let's check out our views here. Yeah, there are a lot of nice relaxing stuff. There's a lot of fishermen in here. There's another fisherman there. I'm kind of noticing that theme everywhere. Seeing fishing poles throughout. Chengdu. Pretty cool city though. Nice vibes. Okay, let me see here. Looks like we'll go back. I think that, that must follow the river. So there must be a river walk that goes all the way down and underneath and all the way down. But we're gonna go get a better view, so stay tuned. Kind of a cool little fishing boat right there with all the lights on. I'm gonna guess that's probably picking up tourists. Okay. So I think in this particular video, we're just gonna go back to that that little wooden structure that was in the middle of the water, and we're gonna go up. Then we're gonna conclude at that spot. And then I'm gonna walk down the other side and see if we see like if it's like a division of young and old. So that'll be uh, video number two. I'll be doing lots of different videos anyway, so getting a good picture there. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so now we have kind of a big mix of stuff. I saw this pavilion on the other side. So when I was over there, I could see it. I could see all the people over here. And we're just going to stay focus and then go down. Uh, here's one of the first. I can see this beer bar from the other way too. This charger place. Okay, so we're gonna go down further. This m and kind of, oh this charger spreads out a little bit and I can hear m and So it looks like they got some prime real estate all the way down. Trying to avoid the music, talking over it a little bit. Anyways, getting a little bit of an idea of Chengdu. Check out all these Bacardi bottles. There are some people out here already. Okay. So we are going to come out over by that temple down there. Okay, so now we've come back to this bridge, temple. And we basically walked all the way down and we're gonna go up to there and then we're gonna conclude it. So stay tuned. 
a couple of cats over here playing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go on up. So we're gonna see what's on the other side as well. Looks, looks like a lot of people have camera gear. <coughs> okay, so this is the side that we didn't see. So it looks like the bar street is all on that side. We'll go check all that out. All right. Let's go up to the top. So this is the side that we didn't see. I'm actually staying in that place right there, that H Hotel. It's kind of lit up a little bit. So I was able to get that, that uh, nice little space. It's also a restaurant over on this side. So pretty cool. So that's uh, the bulk of the riverfront around this time at 7.30. Um, feels more like tourists, more geriatrics, like older people that maybe live in these apartments near here, and lots of little young kids, which I don't know. Don't see that many young people yet, but it could all transform later. But this is the vibe right now. Also let you know it's a Friday night, it's about seven o'clock. And from what I heard, it's also um, a Dragon Ball race this tomorrow. Oops. So there's um, all the pubs. So we'll see. So we're gonna come back around to the to the latter part. This would more or less be where we started the filming earlier. So on that note, we're gonna end our video. Kind of a little loop around. <laughs>